Now, if this is a true story, this is about to be the most groundbreaking story of the century. This video is called CNN Leaks New Footage from Diddy and Jay-Z's Underground Play Tunnels. Man, if you know this channel, make sure you smash the sub button. If you watch it on Facebook, make sure you hit the like or follow button. Man, let's get straight into this. I don't even want to waste time. It looks like everything that can go wrong for Padiddles has been going wrong. And I mean everything and good riddance to bad blood. Hey, get the door, man. It ain't dominoes. It's karma. The thing that's so full of shit about Diddy's apology to Cassie is that even after Diddy settled the lawsuit with her, he still put out a statement denying all the allegations, right? Like, be like, oh, I'm sorry for this in this video. Like, are we going to talk about when you put out a whole statement about how lying on your character? Like, all these vicious lies to disparage you, meanwhile... By the way, I never believe Like, the whole... The whole Diddy apology video, bro. There's so many things you could point out that's wrong in it. But hey, I'm not here to play like I'm a judge or nothing. But I do have discernment. You can discern when somebody's being genuine or when somebody's just trying to do there's some PR stuff going on. But hey, it is what it is, man. The Diddy is tripping. But where is this CNN clip? I don't want to skip through too much. I don't know who this is talking or disrespect to you either, but y'all know what we came for. Disappearance after the whole child trafficking lawsuit. The whole world wants to see Diddy pay for his crimes. And our next guest has been sounding the alarm on the rapper for 25 years and says that his apology means absolutely nothing. In December of 1999, Diddy was with it. His apology means absolutely nothing. Wait a minute, this J-Lo? Let me... What she got to say? And I just watched that new movie. I mean, you know... <laughs> Girlfriend, uh, Jennifer Lopez, outside you know, a Manhattan you know. nightclub. There was a fight. Shots were fired and multiple people got injured. Natanya Rubin was shot in the face. She was taken to the hospital. Uh, Diddy was acquitted on two counts of criminal possession of an unregistered gun and attempted bribery. Natanya told me she would have the bullet for... Attempted bribery? What is going on, bro? This cast, it unfold. We don't know what we about to hear. I don't know. Is this about to be the cause of World War III? <laughs> Who knows? Taken out of her own face if it meant that she could finally prove that it was Diddy who shot her. I talked with her moments ago uh, to get a reaction to the now viral assault video. Here's what she said. I was disgusted. I was disgusted at a very deep place, first and foremost, because it validated everything we already knew and suspected, you know. It, it just made it clear and defunct. Let me say this. Weren't these people speaking out before all of this happened? Or are they just being like, are they just, since he's going down, they're just brave enough now? Or are they just joining the, the, the wave of just like, you know how people really don't care, but it's it's trendy so they'll hop on it? I don't know. What y'all think in the comment section below? I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm just curious. It's just about these people. For, forget Diddy and all of that. You're talking about them right now. In a way that no one could deny. I was vo very saddened for Cassie because she had to be re-victimized by this thing being presented. It has zero value to me. First and foremost, it is the classic scripted publicist apology. <laughs> I take accountability, uh, I was disgusted, I went to rehab. I mean, how many times have we heard this narrative, narrative through the annals of time whenever a celebrity gets caught doing something or someone notable gets caught? It's the same narrative. Secondly, it carries no weight to me because he never apologized to Cassie directly. It was all about him. I'm disgusted. By the way, I did a video talking about the whole Diddy apology video. <laughs> and she's saying basically some of the stuff that I was saying, bro. It was, it was mostly about him. Like, he just, I did this, I did, I'm disgusted. I, 
Which he, I mean, one thing, I'm not knocking somebody trying to take accountability, but at the same time, you got to have discernment. And everybody saw, most people saw right through this, you know. They saw right through it. How he, he quickly came out and responded. So that said a lot in itself. Not saying that you can't come out and respond, but I'm just saying, if you are, you got to be on point. And this, this just wasn't it. I, you know, hit a hard time. I was all about him. Natalie Rubin, who insisted it was Diddy who shot her at the 1999 club shooting, claims that the apology sounds extremely scripted and is very self-centered, barely even mentioning Cassie and the abuse that she went through. But that ain't the only thing that's wrong with it. In fact, some people seem to think that the video wasn't even recorded recently. According to this Twitter user, what? Diddy's video seems to have been recorded at his Star Island mansion. But considering the fact that Diddy hasn't come back home since the raids, it makes you wonder, was the apology recorded beforehand? Because Diddy knew what was... Whoa, pre-recorded. This is speculation. You know what I'm saying? This ain't me saying any of this. I'm just reacting. Let me make that clear. I'm just reacting. This is crazy, man. Who, who pre-recorded? Apology? He and that if that's the case, then he already knows like everything that's about to happen. Which I wouldn't be surprised because he's been in this industry a long time and he has a lot of connections. Allegedly. So I mean, but still that apology still what it. Or did he somehow manage to make it back home using his own underground tunnels? Whoa, whoa, underground tunnels. Are these the tunnels or what is this? What's going on? I'm hysterical, not frantic, not anxious, not fretful, but steady in the storm. Looks bad, looks tough, but remains steady. Do you like having a P.O. box? Shout out to the ads, as I say, whenever I get here. Are tired of wasting time Shout and money to driving to the post office? As if all the FBI raids in his house that uncovered an entire system of underground tunnels from there wasn't enough, the rapper posted an unsolicited update about himself using a tunnel visual and having T.D. Jakes narrate. Bro, what is going on right now? Underground tunnels? But what does Jay-Z have to do with this? It says Jay Diddy and Jay-Z's. Again, this is me just reacting to it. This is alleged. Jay underground play tunnels. What, are they, what, type, what type of play do you mean? It only makes everything look all the more suspicious. And this is the beginning of the end for him. I'm praying for her safety and security. There were always rumors going around about him mistreating Cassie for years. The what singer Cassie in the lawsuit says that Mr. Combs, also known as Puff Daddy or P. Diddy, controlled and abused her for 10 years. Mr. Combs strongly denies the allegations. In response, Puff Daddy's lawyer said the following. Cassie has been pressuring Mr. Combs for the past six months demanding $30 million or else she'd be writing a damaging and tell-all book about Sean Puffy Combs and their relationship. He says that it clearly shows the singer Cassie is only out to blackmail him. I can only imagine what Kim Porter went through as well. Diddy is in fact the devil. His secrets and skeletons are all coming out the closet now. I believe Cassie. And the worst part about all of this is the fact that these tunnels was used for apps. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is another angle of the tunnel? Bro, what is going on? Can y'all catch me? What? Give me some more videos to react to about this Diddy stuff because this is going way, way deeper than I thought. I don't even know what to say right now. What is going on? Absolutely heinous crimes, including the trafficking of young women and kids. Through the garden area, and employees led us to underground tunnels. We had to uh, take an elevator and stairs. Uh, you ha we had to be led 
There is no way that you can just walk into a tunnel. There, the entrances and the exits are in your face, but there's no way that you can just walk through tunnels. There's, you'll get stuck. You'll um, go deeper and deeper. You won't be able to come back out because it's hard because the tunnels run all different directions for miles and miles and miles and miles. Oh, so if you go down the wrong one, you'll get stuck. And it's confusing to turn back around and get back to where you're going. So you have to be led in and out. I think people assume that when you get underground, it's just this dirt and you keep going deeper. In. No, no, we know, like, we know it's underground tunnels and stuff, but did he running, running, allegedly running people through the women and who knows what else through this is crazy. If this is true, man, and I'm not saying that this, this woman is lying. If this is true, this is about to be the biggest story in the last, I don't know how many years. But forget the story. How many people did he allegedly run through that, this? Where are you? Where are you? Listen, if you watching this reaction video, don't be scared to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, if you had to experience something like this, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to you know, if you want to keep your name anonymous, that's cool too. But don't be scared to uh, don't be scared to go take care of business because this ain't what is this, man? It's more dirt, and then there's cages of children. No, no, it's not how it works. Oh, she um, said it's not how it works. There oh. is different. There's cities underground. There's um, warehouses underground. That's facts. There's actual homes underground people build these tunnels and they've built them for decades facts there's a lot and elite celebrities they go down there for parties they i just want to keep my promise wait they whoa, whoa, whoa. they what they what they what they just cut us off like that they kind of just what they what? And what celebrities? Can we name drop? We need to know some names. To some of my friends. Allie Carter, survivor of sex trafficking and Hollywood satanic sex rituals. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he didn't say alleged. He didn't say alleged. He didn't say alleged. We about to go to another area of this, I see. Tell back in 2020 about how she was sold into trafficking through foster care. Ali allegedly claims that she was a victim of sex trafficking for many years and has witnessed well-known high-profile celebrities and politicians that have participated, such as Joe Biden, Michelle and Barack Obama, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and many more. She goes on to explain that she's witnessed underground tunnels at the Getty Museum in Los Angeles, California, Buckingham Palace, and various other places. And she's Please. name dropping locations. Now that's what that's what I'm talking about, man. If you're gonna tell it, I'm not saying you gotta be on front street like this woman, but if you're gonna tell it, get drop some lows, name some names, expose what's allegedly going on. Cause it ain't cool. Nowhere near cool. Meet the grams. <laughs> Subscribe and share this video. That this information I kind of kept to myself because I know that some people know about this but are not sure. Um, underground tunnels are very real. Um, underground um, life is real. Um, So now, if you find that hard to believe, to hear from Ali Carter, a young woman who was trafficked in. Yo, this video is crazy, but it's real though. People need to hear this. If this is going on, they need to hear all of this. They need to hear it, but we need. We gotta come with the receipts too. You know what I'm saying that's why I keep saying allegedly, allegedly. With her name dropping, 
and saying locations. Maybe the police got the, the actual facts. I don't know. But it's going to be a lot of raids, allegedly. It's going to be a lot of raids. It's going down. But she said Jay-Z, Beyonce, everybody. What's really about to happen? If this, but they said this happened in 2020. Mm. Sported using these very tunnels that would lead directly to the homes of elite celebrities like Diddy, helping them commit crimes in broad daylight without anybody even knowing. Day after what? Day after what? The raid? Day after what? Actually, like every time I walk past. And what's up with the music, man? <laughs> this house, and obviously the Playboy Mansion right there, and we know about the tunnels that connect from the Playboy Mansion. To here? I'm sure they've connected. Why, why wouldn't they? There are places that connect, so what kind of energy? What kind of energy are you picking up? This type like, of energy? What you mean? Like darkness. I mean, in general. Like, Alright, bro, we ain't about to make it that type of video, man. What type of energy is in the tunnel? And what's going? What's really going on? What type of energy is in? The, all right, what, 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 what we at? What we at? What we at? Where we at? What, what they showing? What they showing? Is he coming with facts? This Gene Deal? Look like Gene Deal. Let me see. Shout out to the ads. Listen, if you're a woman, you really that. should have some sort of self yeah, not, hey, listen. And right now, the U.S. Concealed Carry Association... They want to talk well, about this ain't that. Shay not Shay over here. <laughs> how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. You know what I'm saying? About the business. Right? I know, and people know, that was around that in that time that Puff and Usher had, did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me, let, let me reframe you on something. Rem did, he, did he just say, which we know Usher stayed with Diddy when he was a young, when he was a kid, teenager. Did he just say that something happened, weird happened, to where Usher ended up in the hospital because of it? But what happened? Is he, did he... Is, if you gonna tell it, tell it all. Well, shout out to Gene Deal, cause he he does he 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 be telling it all. I ain't gonna lie, but this is crazy. Usher, we was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. In his robe? He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio <laughs> right there. What? His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. Yo, you, this, this, this is the type of details. <laughs> I'm doing the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Not what am I watching right now? What 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 where are we headed? Where are we headed to right now? Where are we headed to, bro? Did he got the 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 gawk three? <laughs> he got the gawk. That's what we gonna call it. Allegedly, and and from Keith Sweat, baby mother, allegedly. And Usher came in after she finished, allegedly, and kissed her in the mouth, bro. What am I listening to? What is going on? I came in for the tunnels.
But here we are. Here we are. Tell him that because you taking up with somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right when you was at Diddy camp. Now, I hear from Diddy's own ex-bodyguard who's a witness to all the Diddler's crimes that heavily included grooming and child abuse. But as sick as it is, the truth is that all of Hollywood is involved in this mess. That she met Jay-Z yes. and had intercourse with him. How old was she? I would say about, I think she was about 16, 17, or 16, just turning 16 or 17. I, I wouldn't, I know it was one of them. And no, I heard that Beyonce was like 21 when they met. But who, who he said she was 16 or 17. When they met Jay-Z, by the way. When she met Jay-Z. Z was what age? Or dated him, rather. That wouldn't happen to know. I think he was in, was he in his 20s? I read 22. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I think I read 22. But he was 20. in his 20s. Yes, I wouldn't happen to know his age. But 22, I'm pretty sure if they put that out there, then yeah. that's what Jay-Z was. Right. Yeah. So I, I just want to point out to our audience that Jay-Z having sex with a minor would make that child rape because she was underage at the time. And then furthermore... What are we getting into right now? We talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce. What are we talking about? The fact that he took her from one state to another state, I imagine would be in a violation of um, state trafficking laws. Wow. So... Movie. This rabbit hole is getting deeper, but I think, I think, I think, I think, right, that I should split, maybe, if I finish this video, I think I split it up into two parts. So this was part one, and uh, I think I only had like a few minutes left, like six minutes left, so I'm going to split it up into two parts if I finish. If y'all want me to finish this video, let me know in the comment section below, and I got you, but I came and I got, basic, I, I basically already got what I wanted to see out of this. I wanted to see about the underground tunnels. How do y'all feel about that too? If y'all want to see more reactions like this, let me know in the comment section below. And man, if this is all true, it's a lot of people that's cooked.